Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Ovedia, a board-certified cardiac surgeon and founder of Ovedia Heart Health. Today, I'm going to explain why inflammation is the root cause of many autoimmune flare-ups and how making simple dietary changes can help control and reduce these symptoms. Understanding the connection between inflammation and autoimmune conditions is essential for better health management. Here's what we're going to talk about today. The link between inflammation and autoimmune disorders. Foods that can help fight inflammation and reduce flare-ups. And what foods to avoid if you want to manage your autoimmune condition effectively. Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about the link between inflammation and autoimmune disorders. Chronic inflammation is a key factor that triggers autoimmune responses, leading the body to start to attack its own tissues. Inflammatory foods can worsen these symptoms by increasing the immune system sensitivity. Managing inflammation can help reduce the frequency and severity of flare-ups in autoimmune conditions. Now, Let's talk about foods that can help fight inflammation. You want to focus on anti-inflammatory foods and foods that will not trigger the inflammatory response. These include things like fatty fish, leafy green vegetables, and some berries, which can provide some antioxidants to help combat that inflammation. You may be able to incorporate spices like turmeric and ginger that are known for their strong anti-inflammatory properties, but this is going to depend on your situation, and you need to test out whether these things are anti-inflammatory or pro-inflammatory for you. Diets like the AIP autoimmune protocol diet help to eliminate potential triggers and emphasize nutrient-dense foods. The carnivore diet can be another great approach for those that are dealing with autoimmune conditions. And let's now focus on those foods that you want to avoid for managing autoimmune conditions. First and foremost, you want to eliminate processed food, added sugars, refined carbohydrates, and highly processed fats like vegetable and seed oils that can trigger inflammation. You want to avoid alcohol and smoking, both of which can increase inflammatory markers. And then you want to steer clear of other common inflammatory foods, even though they are whole real non-processed foods. These include things like nightshades that can trigger autoimmune symptoms for some. So if you have any questions or need more information on any of the topics we've discussed, please feel free to ask. And if you have feedback or insights to share with me, I'm here to learn from you. You can come join us in the Heart Health Hub for more one-on-one -on -one conversations and support for your autoimmune health. Please see the link below.